chapter 8, lesson 4. Look at the example. It says there are six trees along the street. Each tree has eight birds. Right? So how many birds are there altogether? You could draw an array. So how many trees are there? How many? Six. Six trees, right? Who draw an array? So six trees. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, right? But how many in each how many in each tree? Eight. Eight birds. So I have one already, so two, three, four, five, six. One, six, seven, eight, sorry. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! I do that, that doesn't take forever. Or another way is to draw a picture. Use an X for each bird. And how many birds were in each tree? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. So when you do all that, there's eight X's in each tree. So for eight birds in each tree. So see, when I add them all together, six times eight should be what? 56. Not 56. 48. Okay, that's horizontal. Vertically is the same thing. Six times eight is 48. So there are 48 birds all together. Times eight times six is forty-eight. <coughs> Commutative property of multiplication. If eight times six is forty-eight, six times eight is also going to be forty-eight. It doesn't matter what order I have the factors, I'm going to get the same answer. It says the fours facts are helpful in remembering the eights. The eights facts. Her own counted five hundred bees on each of the eight flowers. How many honey bees are there all together? Write a number sentence with a symbol for the unknown. Okay, so what they did was they took five times eight equals something. They decomposed eight to what two numbers? What two numbers did they decompose eight? Four and four. So now I have five times four and also five times four. So they went 5 times 4 plus 5 times 4. And they multiply both those, both those together. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 4 is also 20. 20 thank you. And they added 20 and 20 is 40. 40. So I know that eight times 5 times 8 is 40. So the unknown is going to be 40. So how many bees all together? 40. How many bees? 40. That's just another way to solve 5 times 8. If you already know what 5 times is, hey, great. But you're like, you know, Mr. Tita, I don't know what 5 times 8 is, but I know what 5 times 4 is. Then they just double. Look at the example that they gave. They decomposed, says, it says, complete the steps to find 7 times 8. So label the array. Well, here's the array here. I need to label it. Okay. This number here, that tells me how many rows do I have. So how many rows do I have all together? How many? Seven. Seven. The numbers at the top tell me how many columns I have. So how many columns do I have in the green section? Four. How many columns do I have in the yellow section? Four. Four. So what number did they decompose? Four. They decomposed 8 to be 4 and 4. So my multiplication sentence for this is going to be 7 times 4. My whole multiplication for the yellow section is going to be 7 times 4. So 7 times 4 is? 28. 28. 
and I add both of those together, there's going to be 56. Twenty-eight plus twenty-eight. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Put the six down. Carry the one. Two plus two is four. Plus one more is five. So that's fifty-six. So then seven times eight is fifty-six. Multiply by eight. There are eight trees lining a street. In each tree there are six birds. How many birds are there in all? We need to find eight times six. Think of each tree as a group of six birds. There are eight trees, so there are eight groups of six birds. We can use an array to show eight rows of six. The array shows that eight times six equals 48. So eight times six equals 48 birds in all. 